Welcome to the Dirt Time Channel. I'm Alan Halcon. I'm Dude McLean. And I'm Christopher Nergesh. Today, Dude's going to talk to us about the Zier Pot, spelled Z E E R, Christopher. You sure? I'm positive. No I, X. I, th I thought like Xeriscaping is spelled with an X. No, that's no. Xerox. That's not you Xerox. You stole my line. Okay. I did steal okay. his line. Okay, why are we here? We're here because of the Zier Pot. This is exciting. This is a very old technology. What is it? The Zier Pot is a porous pot on the outside. Okay. All right. This pot can be glazed, preferably, or it can be porous also. So you have a we pot in a pot. So a pot wait, pot. the outside pot is not glazed, therefore right. making it porous. Making it porous. It has to, and that's and how can you tell if a pot is glazed or not? Because it's shiny and has that little sheen to it. Just okay. By looking at so it, this has like a flat surface, and the inner pot can be glazed. It or, can be glazed. But it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. Okay. Do you prefer glazed or not? I like the inside inside pot glazed because it doesn't allow moisture to come in the inside. Okay. Okay. So anyway, you put some sand or dirt, whatever you can get, down on the bottom. You place this pot inside, and then you line it with. So this is all sand. With sand here. here. Okay. And after you've done that, you pick up your primitive water container, and you pour water in it all the way around. You saturate it. By all the, the way, way where did you get that water gourd? This water gourd. This came off of a plastic tree. And it oh, grows this the, fruit. The plastic vine that this grows is, in the this is yes. the This is the fruit of the plastic tree? Yeah. Okay, just check it. So, you want that to go all the way That's down. That's a also, Dude and Alan joke, by the way, yes. folks. Preferably, it was not a joke. It wasn't very funny. Preferably, you take the outer um, pot and you soak it in water for three or four hours. Okay. All right, now these pots can be any size. You can do little pots. You can have them this big. And they're not made to be portable. Um, and what do you put in here? So this is really great for vegetables and vegetables fruit. Vegetables and fruit, okay. All right. Uh, so it's when and, the power goes out, basically. Yeah. You don't have a refrigerator. It's got to be, it, it doesn't work well in humid areas. It's really got to be in a dry area. It's, okay. a, it's basically an evaporative cooling system. Yes. The, uh, like for instance, tomatoes, if it's 100 degrees outside, you can take tomatoes and put them in here. If it was just left outside, the tomatoes would last about two days in here. They'll last for 20 days. Now, do you need to put a cover on this guy? What, you, what we do is you take either burlap and wet it and put it over the top. Okay. Or wool and put it over the okay. top. Wool will hold the water for a long time. So it takes a little maintenance, but it will preserve your fruits and your vegetables. So it's a well. low-tech evaporative cooler. And you right. said I, in my book, How to Survive Anywhere. Oh, here we go. Christopher. I Another just, shameless plug? I just happened to have this with you me. just happened, happened to have, to have it with me. Yeah, yeah. but wow. I, I, I mentioned about the pot in a pot in here. Wait, I, wait, wait, wait. What page is my picture in? Your picture's in there somewhere in the appendix, I think. <laughs> oh, okay. In so, the appendix. Yeah. Yeah. But there's pictures of Dude and Alan in here. But uh, there's a guy named uh, Muhammad Ba Abba, and he, he won an award for coming up with this for right. some African town so they could preserve their food longer. But you say he really didn't invent no, it. No, no, he didn't. This was old technology. Okay. It's reinvented, and he says that himself. Okay. And uh, it, it works. He, in the, the village that he was in, he saw all this fruit just rotting. And he said, there's got to be an answer to this. Well, fortunately for him, his family made pots. <laughs> yeah, right, right. But what he did is he gave them away. They made them and gave them away. Okay, so if the power all goes out in 2012, which I'm predicting it won't, but if you have a, a local blackout or a power outage, this is a way to preserve your food and all of your potatoes and whatever sure. you eat. And, and well, we don't need potatoes in here. Okay, tomatoes, lettuce, things that are Fruits, more perishable. Fruit, Fruits, peaches. Yeah. Yeah. Another yeah. alternative to the pots would be your styrofoam containers that you find at the store. You know, usually you take on picnics and all that. You can nest one inside the other. Right. They're pretty porous. You could do that the same way, couldn't we can, you? Yeah. You nest can, one in another with sand right. and water. And we're going to probably show that okay. later on. But anyway, it's very simple technology. It's really easy to do. And try it. My daughter has this, and she uses it all the time. So they do work well. So and they, they have to stay in the shade, and when there's a slight breeze and everything, they work better. But you might have to move it around. But they're, the big heavy ones you can put in one place where the areas have continuous shade, it works best. Okay, another great tip to enhance your life from the Dirt Time team. Sorry, John's not here. Hi, John. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Alan Halcon, Dude McLean, Christopher Neergish. See you next time on DirtTime.com. Check your six.